Hi everybody, it is November 19, 2018. I will link below to this video and I really hope that everybody watches it. It really is, wow, a great example of what, what could happen when people come together and help those in need. Um, it is on Storage Auction Pirates channel live update thank you Walmart parking lot Chico California and I'll let you uh, I'll let you I will play just a few minutes of this I literally felt like crying um, people are really stepping up to help those who lost their homes in Paradise California Here we are it what day is it it is Monday. Monday the nineteenth. What time is it? One fifteen p.m. I uh, sorry I did not do any updates yesterday. Uh, it, it went smooth. It was a good day. We got another at least dozen families placed and semi temporary slash permanent safe housing. And I'm going to walk through and show you guys where we're at now. You can see all the gaps. This first row, all right here, was completely covered with tents. I'm to run for my life across the street. Was completely covered with... I know, huh? Thank you so much for everything. Um, so he's a, he's a survivor. He was out here helping us help everyone. So this board is still up. They update it every day. Oh, here's, I'm not, oh my gosh, we have someone from Poland. Hello, Poland. Hi, Vassal. Hi, Paul. Hello, how is everything going? Is Red Cross still trying to, Red Cross, oh, I just have nothing to say about any city government, any organizations, any blah, blah, blah. Literally, if you remember, all of this was filled with tents. Right here was filled with tents. We have a place for that camper to go. I don't even know how to begin to tell you guys. This was filled with tents. Um, there are still a lot of tents. Actually, a lot of the stuff you see right here is people out volunteering things. Um, we are about 95% to 5%, 5% survivors. Hi, Vassal. Hi, Jim. Hi, everybody. Um, where do I even begin to explain? You guys, we have the most amazing updates to give you, and I'm going to try <laughs> to give you as much information as I can. My mind's going a million miles a minute. I, the volunteers are still coming in trying to make all of this so much easier for everyone. So, update. Where do I begin? Again, a huge thank you to Walmart. Oh my gosh. I don't know anybody anywhere that has just so graciously offered to allow this to happen. All right here were survivors, tent after tent after tent that we placed and shelters and people's homes. We have people donating their trailers, giving their trailers, signing over the titles to their trailers to the survivors. We have people in Orville donating 60 acres of land to park these trailers on. Uh, FEMA money is starting to come in. I have a family, several families um, that I did FEMA registration with personally myself. I've been following with them every step of the way. Their check is on the way. And it I I don't even know where to begin. We have a company, Sanchez Ranch Meat Company. This was a that huge group of the survivors with that puppy. If you remember my puppy, they took my puppy. Um Ran Sanchez Ranch Meat Company is coming in Thursday on Thanksgiving. This was all families of survivors that have been placed somewhere safe. 
They're coming in Thursday. They're going to go to the Kmart parking lot. I just came from Kmart to verify ourselves that the manager said absolutely. His name is Logan. He is bomb. That company's coming in and doing 3,000 Thanksgiving meals for all the survivors. So if you guys can let that word out, post that on your Facebooks, your Twitters, everything. Sanchez Ranch Meat Market, Meat Company, is coming in to do 3,000 meals. This big family right here, they're placed. These were, this was where those boys were. If you guys remember the two little boys, they're placed safe. All of this, just, there was the couple here that were, um, he was a veteran, she was disabled. We got them placed somewhere safe. You see our porta potties are down. Walmart is so graciously keeping some porta potties out here. Full Moon still has some of theirs out here. Theirs were donated. But we don't have as many as we did because we don't need as many. Comcast is gone because we got as many people as we could sign up for FEMA and again, the FEMA funds are starting to come in. After I'm done here, I'm heading over to the lady that was having the seizures with her son that's placed at Azaz Martial Arts. Um, they used my phone number for their FEMA contact. FEMA called me this morning, wants to speak to him so that they can finish getting his approved for emergency housing because they tried to go inspect his house and they can't get in because it's mandatory evacuation so he is approved for emergency shelter money this right here is where sexy panda was they are gone they have moved on to somewhere that they are more needed some of the porta potties were moved over here onto the cement that walmart paid for out of their own pocket for these people for the survivors there is more i will link below to this video um, again, watching this just now as I was recording it, I, I, yeah, I do. I'm not a crier, but boy, my eyes were watering up. This is what can happen when people really band together, pull together to help one another. People literally turning over their trailers, the title to their trailers giving people a, a temporary home. What a world it would be like if, if everybody, you know, were that caring and giving. Paradise apparently was a very, very strong community to begin with. And it seems very clear to me that this whole area of California, Chico, Paradise, and the surrounding towns, that they are sticking together. They are helping one another. This is what community is. You know, this is what community really is. So, thank you. I don't know your name, um, uh, storage auction pirate. I don't know your name, but thank you for posting these videos and showing us what can happen inspiring.